Welcome to This Week at CBN. Today I want to share a meditation that I had yesterday on giving glory to God. I'll start off with Psalms 115, uh, which is we, all Christians need to keep this in mind. Not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but to your name give glory. Uh, the more we try to get glory for ourselves, uh, the more we're going to be falling away from him. When we give God the glory and acknowledge that he's the one uh, who gave us life, who gave us breath, who gave us uh, the talents that we have, that, who's given us all things, uh, when we acknowledge him as the source, uh, then we get even more. But when we start thinking that somehow or other it was our ability or our dedication or our hard work that produced it, um, we're going to miss it. Uh, it's from God. Uh, that's not to excuse uh, not doing hard work and not being diligent, not being faithful. But the more you understand it all comes from Him. Even faith comes from Him. He's the author and finisher of faith. He is the one who gives you the will to do good. And when you start acknowledging Him as the source, and then something wonderful happens where you get even more. Here it is from John chapter 15. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. So if, if you're feeling unfruitful or dry or worried, discouraged, um, all the various things that can come along as you walk the Christian walk, start remembering that all you have to do is get back into the vine. And then you, you get him and you get more of him. And then you get to start to bear fruit. Now, some of you may ask, how do you glorify God? You know, what, what is that? Um, well, Jesus answers it in the very next verse. It's from John 15, verse 8. By this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit. So you will be my disciples. When you when you're diligent in being a disciple of Jesus and you're bearing much fruit, that's how you glorify God. Uh, that gives God glory. I love how T.L. Osborne put it. God has voluntarily limited himself to your unlimited potential. And the more you understand that when you're hooked up with God and you have the fullness of his power working in your life, Oh, well, then, yeah, you can go out and bear much fruit. Here's the promise, John chapter 5. Most assuredly, I say to you, the Son can do nothing of himself, but what he sees the Father do for whatever he does, the Son also does in like manner. Even Jesus, in all of his ministry, he said, it's not for me. It's, 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 I'm just watching what God does. I'm just looking to him as my source. And when I do that, then incredible things happen. And he echoes it, Paul echoes it in Philippians, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. If Jesus had to say, I, I'm not doing it, I, I'm, I'm letting God do it through me, then we need to do the same thing, that we're not doing it, God is doing it through us. And then we hit into these wonderful promises and then we can do all things. And that's how we fulfill what Psalm says, ascribe to the Lord the glory do his name. Worship the Lord in the splendor of his holiness. Just spend time with him. Be like Mary, spend time at his feet, and then energized, being in the vine and the vine in you, then you can go and bear fruit. Thank you for being with us. That's it for this week at CBN.